Hey guys, guess what? We are on our way to record a new video for you guys at Austin Books and Comics. Intrigued? Don't go away then. Regular novels, anime, figurines, Funko Pops, keychains, I mean, you name it, Austin Books and Comics probably has it for you. So I'm going to walk around, take a little tour, and I want you guys to come with me, okay? Let's go. section we have comic books graphic novels for all types of people if you like for example behind me DC comics who does not love DC it's all divided by sections everything's nice and labeled they have their little <clears throat> right here and of course oh, okay I kind of want to buy this one okay uh, so and if you let's go this way we come then to the Marvel section and again, we have, they have labels like which ones are the brand new ones, um, who wrote what. And of course, you have the little QR codes in case you needed to know how to begin your comic book collection. And this kind of reminds me a little bit because when I was younger, me and my brother, we used to collect comic books. I mean, all types of comic books. I think I still actually have a big box at home with a bunch of comic books from when I was younger. I might share that with you guys. <laughs> I see some comic books I want. I just found a section of the comic books that is very close to my heart. Like I said earlier, me and my brother used to collect comic books when we were younger, and we actually started out with the X-Men. And it was something that he and I could do to grow closer as siblings and just looking at this section brings me back so many feelings of love and sharing and fighting over the comic books and you know it just really started with the X-Men. So the X-Men hold a really good place in my heart so I might leave with about 20 of these. <laughs> okay I'm gonna keep going that way because I keep seeing some interesting things over here. collector like I used to be that this is the place you need to be at I mean we have the collectible comics if you have comics that you might want to get, take off your hands and I know it hurts this is also the place because they do bu buy some comics you can you know come and look at you might find some buried treasure in here you never know what you could find in the collectible comics section here I'm gonna go dig <laughs> Yes, 
So not only do we have a full section of comic books and graphic yeah. novels, but we also have a section of small press books, which is where they put the stories, like several comic books, into like one gigantic book. And of course, I just happened to find the X-Men. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Look at this. If I sit down to read this, you would not be able to bug me for like two hours. tour of the collectible figurines and of course we ended up here at the Star Wars section and we have a mixture of hot toys and other uh, types of collectible figurines and I mean the level and the mastery of the detail in the hot toys is so amazing I mean guys look at this Han Solo right here this hot toy Han Solo the detail is just so epic so elite Star Wars, mainly, 90% of it. I'm also a huge Masters of the Universe fan. And right here, I have this statue of Skeletor. This is so cool right here. younger I would watch this show called um, Spider-Man and his amazing friends yes I'm old um, and of course in that one my favorite character was Firestar and I just found this Firestar figurine that looks so cool and for me the, like I said the X-Men were also a big deal for me and my favorite character from the X-Men is Jean Grey or the Phoenix like she's no Marvel girl in other comics these figurines these are both the same. This one's the um, Dark Phoenix Saga. You know, if you're a collector like me, you know the Dark Phoenix Saga. And not the one they did in the movie. Although that was good and cool too. say that I would run from my bedroom down the hallway, jump and get into the Wonder Woman pose and say I'm Wonder Woman. <laughs> and I noticed that I actually do stand like this a lot of the time. So you know, you have to pay homage to Wonder Woman. I could definitely say she's my favorite, favorite, favorite superhero of all time. of collectible figurines guys I mean we have DC DC icons multi-universe I mean 
let's see. Oh, um, here we have some cat, cat women. We also have like Wonder Woman. It's just, is it me? I think this is this whole section is DC. I think this whole section is DC. Hmm. Interesting. Does so it have different collections from the DC multi universe? Or multiverse, as they would say it. Wow. There's so much to look at here, so much to go through. But stick around. There's still a couple more things I gotta show you, okay? section they are have obviously it's not one theme it's not one you know set of funko they have every type of funko pops and i just found one that i am taking with me today i found the little skywalker and it is an exclusive limited edition and it glows in the dark sorry em, i'm taking this one okay okay thank you so if i'm gonna pan through and you guys can see that they have different types of Funko Pops. I mean, we have G.I. Joe, uh, Stranger Things, Candyland, Fortnite, whatever it is that you guys like, you might find here. So you guys got to come and check out Austin Books and Comics, okay? Now I'm going to go keep searching and see if I can find any more. Don't judge me. I have to. <laughs> E.T. That's all I'm going to say. It's E.T. The coolest thing ever. I mean, they make Funko Pops out of anything. And I'm telling you, I am going back into my childhood with the McDonald's Funko Pops. I mean, these are the characters I grew up with. Look at these. These are wonderful. <laughs> I am loving. sections here that I'm trying to, I'm having a hard time going which way am I going and the store is starting to fill up with people so I mean they do have very good clientele okay I think I saw something that I'm gonna go buy so let's keep going I mean there's so much here so much I'm looking for a comic book I can't find it I'm gonna go ask <laughs> come on guys We just left Austin Books and Comics. I got a couple of goodies. I also have some goodies in the bag, but I'm not going to show you that right now. I do want to thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for coming on this tour of Austin Books and Comics. Again, it's an amazing store. It has a little bit of everything for everybody. Anime, graphic novels, comics, not regular novels, different sections, keychains, Funko Pops, collectible figurines. Okay, so if that is your thing, come down to Austin Books and Comics and, you know, show them the love all right well guys as always from my heart to yours put some love out in the universe and i'll see you guys in the next one